So uh, this presentation might be uh, a little bit different from uh, the conventional uh, style that uh, typically uh, relies on graphs and images. Uh, I've chosen um, a different approach because uh, I believe that while visual holds uh, value, the words uh, themselves can uh, inspire and um, lead to a, some of some kind of new insights. Um, I opted to use assistance of artificial intelligence to generate some images and videos that support my thoughts. And my presentation is based on uh, review articles, so it's going to uh, allow us to dive into um, the essence of the topic, which is uh, the impact of hypermagnetic fields uh, on circadian rhythms. It's about circadian rhythms, for example, in astronauts in the deep space uh, missions. Um, the magnetic fields uh, vary from Earth's strong magnetic fields, which is GMF, um, to extremely weak uh, hypermagnetic field um, in space. Uh, the uh, GMF measure around uh, 50 uh, microtesla um, on Earth, while uh, interstellar space has almost uh, uh, irrelevant field. Uh, planetary magnetic strength uh, differ widely from uh, Mercury's, uh, which is uh, 350 to uh, 700 nanotesla, uh, to Jupiter's much stronger field. Uh, the Moon's uh, lacks uh, a global magnetic field, magnetic field, but has sporadic um, stronger magnetic areas. Uh, also, the Mars has multiple local fields. Um, the isolation um, from the Earth's magnetic field uh, significantly affects biological processes. Um, the scientists in uh, 1960s explored uh, the, um, the thought that uh, the hypermagnetic field uh, conditions during a space missions uncovering changes in enzyme activity uh, linked to, uh, for example, melatonin and serotonin biosynthesis. Um, also, the studies, uh, including one by uh, NASA on mice, uh, revealed that uh, prolonged, uh, prolonged absence uh, of a magnetic field reduced uh, adaptability and uh, triggered issues like uh, leukopenia, low metabolic rate, uh, increased mortality and circadian rhythms and this uh, disruption. Uh, this, uh, this also highlights the, the essential role for, um, of geomagnetic fields in biological functions. Um, but uh, what it, if it is about the circadian rhythms uh, and the impact of magnetic field on it? Uh, the Earth's uh, rotation creates, creates a natural clock that organisms have uh, adapted to uh, sensing, the, sensing the, their physiological um, their, um, their physiology uh, with the solar cycle. Uh, in mammals, the circadian uh, system consists of a central peacemaker in the um, hypothalamus and smaller clocks. Uh, in peripheral tissues uh, like the liver, lungs, and kidney. Um, those peripheral clocks uh, synchronize with the uh, master clock uh, through the signals like hormones and nerves, um, mm, ensuring, uh, of course, the uh, mm, mm, uh, uh, coordinate body functions. Um, key functions uh, like melatonin and insulin release, uh, heart rate, uh, also uh, blood pressure uh, and uh, governed by the circadian system. Uh, disruptions in, um, in this rhythm are linked to increase the cancer risk. Uh, also, um, that thing highlighting the crucial rule of the circadian clock in uh, maintaining the overall physiological balance and health in organisms. Mm. Um, if it's about hyper, hypermagnetic fields uh, how, and how it's effect on metabolism, development and neuronal functions, uh, first of all, uh, 
the mitochondria, uh, crucial for energy production, showed the significant significant changes in um, mouse heart um, cells when um, when they were ex exposed to highly re reduced geomagnetic field. This leads to uh, structural uh, alterations and uh, complications like uh, degraded uh, myofibrils, reduced glycosan, and uh, issues with protein uh, synthesis. Um, the studies also found um, lower glucose uh, use and altered uh, mitochondrial function uh, in skeletal muscle uh, cells in hypermagnetic fields. Uh, also along with uh, reduced uh, oxidative stress uh, in certain human cells. Mm. Uh, okay, so uh, as I said before, the, Earth, uh, the Earth's 24-hour cycle is regulated by endogenous biological clock. Um, mm. Um, and um, yeah, uh, the independent system uh, uh, sustaining the resins without external uh, cause. However, the circadian resin can be uh, influenced by uh, environmental factors like light, temperature, and lifestyle. Um, even the slightly changes in uh, Earth's uh, pineal gland uh, in uh, Earth's uh, magnetic field. Uh, significantly impact the uh, uh, daily patterns of various species. Melatonin uh, produced in the in the pineal gland uh, helps uh, synchronize uh, an organism's uh, physiology with a daily uh, sensual demands. Uh, it also uh, acts as uh, antioxidant and immune uh, modulator. Mm. If it's about uh, mm, the molecular uh, mechanisms. Uh, the crypt uh, cryptochromes uh, play a vital role in light-dependent magnetic sensitivity. They function uh, as circadian uh, photoreceptor, crucial for 24-hour clock, uh, particularly uh, in uh, retinal and nerve cells. Mm, Avian cryptochrome 4 binds uh, to uh, FAD, uh, serving as a um, magnetoreceptor for seasonal migration. Um, two main models of magnetic field uh, detection exist. Uh, one involving magnetite-based uh, magnetite force uh, transduction and another uh, dependent uh, magnetosensor complex. Um, so, um, yeah, that's uh, that's that's a very interesting thing if it's about the molecular mechanism, but uh, just to conclude, what um, what this uh, what the combine of those articles um, are going to tell us is uh, that on Earth uh, in the International Spa uh, Space uh, Station, the Earth's magnetosphere shield individual forms uh, uh, from cosmic radiation. However, astronauts traveling beyond low uh, Earth orbit. Uh, face higher risk due to um, the weaker geomagnetic fields. Uh, and to address this uh, innovative solution, like creating artificial electromagnetic magnetic field around the spacecraft using the uh, superconducting uh, solenoids, for example, uh, which is uh, pretty, pretty useful material, um, have been uh, proposed uh, to, um, to, to, to um provide the to replicate the f uh the f protection um, to simulate the earth protection yeah um i think that's that, that that's gonna be all from my side uh thank you very much for your attention